learning outcomes. After studying this module, you will be able to know about the drugs used for sexual assaults, mode of action and pharmacokinetics of some date rape drugs and the forensic examination of common date rape drugs. Now let us start with the introduction. Sexual assaults are largely committed on women while they are debilitated by so-called date rape drugs became the attention of many investigation agencies or the investigators conducted by the law enforcement agencies in many countries. In the late 1990s, a discernible increase in reports of this crime as well as in the number of scientific publications on the subject was witnessed. The list of sedative drugs related with sexual assault is extensive and among others consists of fluoranitrazepam with other benzodiazepines such as clonazepam, diazepam, temazepam, oxygepam, gamma hydroxybutyrate or the GHB, ketamine and scopolamine. In a characteristic situation, a potential sexual offender surreptitiously spikes the drink of an unsuspecting person with the sedative drug for the purpose of drugging and consequently sexually assaulting the victim while the victim is under the influence of this substance. Victims generally report loss of memory during and after these incidents. They wake up in unacquainted places, inappropriately dressed and often with a sense but not the actual remembrance of having had sex. Next, we will study about the forensic issues related with this. Included in a special class named as date rape drugs does not exempt these drugs from their scientific examination forensically. On the contrary, it increases their forensic importance as they may be frequently encountered by the investigating agencies in metropolitan cities. Recovery of unknown samples of whichever physical state is done by the IO or the investigating officer from events like rave parties are meticulously sent for the forensic examination to the forensic laboratory for their chemical examination and identification so as to enable the prosecution to reprimand the illegal activity. In the present scenario, when the crime against women are increasing day by day, it is not less than a requirement for the administration to curb out such misuse or rather abuse of drugs, which is unfortunately used for the commission of heinous crimes. The members of this class are actually belong to various drug classes like benzodiazepines, barbiturates, etc. Therefore, the forensic examination is required as same as for the other classes of drugs. Now, we will study some of the notable date rape drugs, starting first with flunitrazepam. Flunitrazepam, that is 5,2-fluorophenyl-1,3-dihydro-1-methyl-7-nitro-2. 2H1 or 4 benzodiazepine 2 1 belongs to the 7 nitro group of benzodiazepines. Its hypnotic effect overcomes the sedative, anxiolytic, and muscle relaxing effects of other compounds from the same pharmacological group. Flunitrazepam exists in the form tablets and in injectable form in about 80 countries around the world. 
it has a much stronger affinity for the gamma amino butyric acid or the GABA receptor than the diazepam also better known as Valium. In fact, it is uh, 10 times as potent as diazepam. Rahafnol tablets are trafficked into the USA and sold with street names such as Rufis, Rofis, Ru, Rofinolis, Rib, Rope, Pepas, Peanuts, Pastas, Forget Pills, Roches, Roches and Roche. Roche have reformulated tablets so that they give a blue color when dissolved in water thereby alerting drinkers to the fact that their drinks have been spiked off. Next is the gamma hydroxybutyrate or GHB. Other drugs that have been associated in sexual assault including the gamma hydroxybutyrate or the GHB and related compounds which are converted to GHB such as gamma butyrolactone that is GBL and 1,4-butanediol that is 1,4-BD. GHB is sold on the streets under names such as salty water, scoop, soap, liquid X, natural sleep 500 and liquid ecstasy. It is used in day trip drugs because it is effectively rapid. It is relatively easy to manufacture and obtain and is alleged to have aphrodisiac properties. Possession, sale and clandestine manufacturing of GHP are illegal in many countries including the USA, UK and Japan. GHB is rapidly metabolized and eliminated from the body. The detection window for blood is about 6 hours and for urine it is about 8 hours. GHB is indigenously produced in the human body and in some foods and this needs to be taken into account when carrying out an analysis for GHB or when we are carrying out the examination for gamma hydroxybutyrate. Next is ketamine. Ketamine also known as ketaler, ketaject and vitaler is used in human and veterinary treatment for introduction of anesthesia for short surgical techniques and routine veterinary examination. It was introduced to the market in the 1960s as a unique anesthetic agent. When abused, ketamine can produce psychotic symptoms and cognitive impairment that may persist for up to three days. Clinically, ketamine has been used to induce schizophrenia as a model of psychosis like PCP that is fencyclidine. Ketamine induces short-lived psychotic systems or psychotic symptoms in non-schizophrenic volunteers. It is structurally related to fencyclidine or PCP but has only 25% of the psychotomimetic activity of PCP. Recently there has been a reappearance of interest in ketamine due to its advent as a club drug at rave parties and at bars. On the streets it is known as K, special K and cat valium and by many other names. The chief source for ketamine is diversion from the veterinary clinics where it is available as a parental solution. Ketamine is used in a liquid form. Its pharmaceutical preparation or as a powder formed by allowing the solvent of the injectable to evaporate. It is taken voluntarily by intramuscular injection or by the intranasal or oral routes. Ketamine can be ingested involuntarily when it is unknowingly added to a drink 
so as to induce a state of stupor for drug facilitated sexual assault that is as a date rape drug. Next we will study about the clonazepam. Clonazepam or 5,2-chlorophenyl, 1,3-dihydro, 7-nitro-2H1, 4-benzodiazepine, 2-own is an anticonvulsant benzodiazepine and it shows many of the effects of common to all benzodiazepines. It is available in tablets containing 0.5 milligrams, 1 milligram and 2 milligram under the trade names such as clonopin, clonex, ictrovil and ritrovil. It is a central nervous system depressant or a CNS depressant that results in loss of voluntary muscle control and loss of inhibition and reduces anxiety. Like some other benzodiazepines, it causes enterograde amnesia. The onset of action of clonazepam is between 30 to 60 minutes and the duration of action may last up to 12 hours. Next, we will study about MDMA that is methylene dioxymethamphetamine. Methylene dioxymethamphetamine or MDMA is a prototypical member of a large series of the phen methyl amine designer drugs and has become one of the main drugs of abuse in many countries in northern Europe. Clandestine production is largely in Europe. A number of homologous compounds with broadly similar effects such as MDA, MDEA and N-methyl 1,1,3 benzodioxol 5-il 2-butynamine that is MBDB have also appeared but have proved less popular. These substances are collectively known as the ecstasy drugs. Several methods of synthesis can be employed including an amine displacement method using safrol as the starting material. A pathway via the intermediate 1,3-methylene dioxyphenyl 2-propanone that is MDP2P with isosperol or a nitrostyrene as the starting material. Identifying reaction intermediates and byproducts can help identify the synthetic route. Next in line is the lysergic acid diethylamide or LSD. Lysergic acid diethylamide or LSD is a drug of hallucinogen group that causes hallucinations. Abusers will imagine images, hear sounds and experience sensations that look as it is real and they do not occur. Certain hallucinogens also create abrupt and random fluctuations in the temper of those who take them. LSD or lysergic acid diethylamide first formed in 1938 is a very potent hallucinogen. It is prepared from lysergic acid which is originated from ergot, a fungus that grows on rye and other grains. LSD is formed in crystalline form and then merged with excipients or diluted as a liquid for forming in ingestible forms. It is odorless, colorless and has a considerably bitter taste. LSD is retailed in tablet form, generally small tablets called as microdots on sugar cubes in thin squares of gelatin usually denoted as window panes and most commonly as blotter paper that is sheets of absorbent paper soaking in or saturated with LSD enclosed with colorful schemes or artwork and perforated into one quarter inch square individual dosage units. Next we will study about the pharmacodynamics. 
Since these drugs are used for a particular purpose, the main prerequisite is to be of specific in nature in order to lessen the resistance of the victim. Therefore, these drugs used for such purpose is not restricted in a certain or a specific class, but many drugs which are having sedative effect may be included safely in under the heading of the date rape drugs. Subsequently, each drug has its own mechanism of action and fate inside the body. Some of them have been mentioned here in this lecture. First is the fluoranitrazepam. Fluoranitrazepam is readily absorbed through the gastrointestinal tract and metabolized almost completely by the liver. Its metabolism includes reduction to 7 amino fluoranitrazepam and then to the N glucuronide dimethylation to the N dimethyl metabolite hydrolysis to the 3 hydroxyl metabolite and then to orthoglucuronide. Approximately 90% of its metabolites are excreted through the urine and 10% in the feces. Death involving fluonitrazepam in conjunction with other central nervous system or the CNS depressants such as ethanol but also due to the overdose of fluonitrazepam alone have been reported. Fluonitrazepam is often used to enhance the effects of heroin, alcohol or marijuana. Next is the clonazepam. Clonazepam is metabolized in the liver to 7 amino clonazepam by the reduction of the 7 nitro group. This is followed by the hydroxylation at the 3 carbon and subsequent gluconoridation. Almost the entire parent drug is metabolized and less than 0.5% of clonazepam is excreted unchanged in the urine. The elimination half-life from plasma is being reported less as being between 19 and 60 hours. The apparent volume of distribution ranges between 1.5 and 6.2 liters per kg. After a 2 mg dosage of clonazepam, the peak concentration of both the parent compound and 7 amino clonazepam in blood occurs 2 hours after ingestion. Clonazepam is a highly potent benzodiazepine with a relatively low affinity for the benzodiazepine receptor. It must cross the blood brain barrier to get into its site of action. The ability of a drug to cross this barrier depends on the protein binding mechanism, lipid solubility and the ionization constant. Clonazepam is largely non-ionized at physiological pH and relatively water insoluble. So it readily crosses biological membranes and therefore rapidly passes from the blood to the brain. Clonazepam causes decreased inhibition, reduced anxiety, and a loss of voluntary muscle control. In addition, it causes endrograde amnesia, impairing the victim's memory of events occurring shortly after ingestion of the drug. These qualities may make clonazepam attractive to potential sexual offenders. Another fact that makes clonazepam particularly dangerous as a date rape drug is that it is sometimes sold under the street name Rufi's as flunaretrazepam. Then comes the lysergic acid diethylamide or LSD. The LSD is structurally related to serotonin that is 5-hydroxytryptamine and is an agonist at the 5-HT1 receptor. Serotonin modulates many psychological and physiological processes including mood, personality, affect, appetite, sexual desire, motor function, temperature, regulation, pain perception and sleep induction. LSD inhibits central ref neurons of the brainstem 
through stimulation of 5-HT1A receptors which are coupled to adenylase cyclase. LSD is also an agonist at 5-HT2A 2C receptors which are not located presynaptically on synergic cell bodies but on certain subpopulations of neurons in postsynaptic regions. The majority of 5-HT2 receptors in the brain are located in the cerebral cortex. Animal experiments have shown that LSD is anatomically distributed maximally in the visual and auditory cortex and the limbic cortex besides pituitary, pineal and hypothalamic areas which parallels the finding of high concentration of 5-HT2 receptors in human cerebral cortex. Next is the ketamine. The pharmacology of ketamine is complex. Like phencyclidine, ketamine has activity at multiple sites in the brain. It primarily acts as a glutamate antagonist by non-competitively binding to the PCP receptor located in the iron channel of N-methyl D-aspartate or the NMDA receptor complex. It sterically blocks the cation channel gated by the NMDA receptor impeding the flow of sodium and calcium ions into the neuron and resulting in disruption of glutamate mediated transmission of these sites throughout the brain. The S isomer is more potent in displacing the NMDA ligand from its receptor than is the R ketamine. In addition, ketamine facilitates monoamine transmission by inhibiting the reuptake of dopamine, noradrenaline or the norepinephrine and serotonin resulting in an accumulation of these neurotransmitters in synapses. It also acts on the opiate system as an agonist at the beta opiate receptor. Ketamine is rapidly metabolized with the principal metabolites being an active metabolite norketamine and an inactive metabolite 6-hydroxyketamine. Ketamine is demethylated to norketamine by the liver microsomal cytochrome P450 system. Next is MDMA or methylene dioxymethamphetamine. The main pharmacological effect of MDMA is an increase in serotonin and inhibition of the reuptake of serotonin, dopamine and norepinephrine in the brain. MDMA causes euphoria, a feeling of empathy, increased energy and tactile sensation. In some cases, MDMA can cause mild stimulation and severe stimulation similar in that of cocaine. MDMA can impair judgment resulting in dangerous behavior. The short term health risks associated with taking of MDMA includes hypertension, hyperthermia and dehydration while the main long term effect includes severe depression due to permanent disruption of serotonin production in the central nervous system or the CNS. Next is the alcohol and other drugs. Other sedative drugs associated with drug facilitated sexual assault include scolpolamine, barbiturates and muscle relaxants such as carisoprodol, cyclobenzaprine and mefrobamate, diphenhydramine and benzodiazepines. Drugs used in drug facilitated sexual assault have depressant effects on their users. Symptoms reported by victims of alleged drug facilitated date rape includes the confusion, decreased heart rate, dizziness, drowsiness and impaired judgment, impaired memory, lack of muscle control, loss of consciousness, nausea, reduced blood pressure and reduced inhibition. 
All these effects can be synergistically enhanced if the drug is taken with alcohol. In addition, drugs used in drug facilitated sexual assault induced amnesia, presumably one of the main reason for their selection as the date rape drugs. Next, we will study about the identification of the date rape drugs. First is the Marquis reagent test. Preparation of reagent. To the 1 ml of formaldehyde solution, few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid is added and stock solution is prepared. Procedure. Few drops of sample are placed in a spot plate. Then, 2 to 3 drops of the stock solution is poured on the plate. What is the result? The result is blue-black color for both MDMA and orange color change to brown color which finally changes to purple indicates the presence of LSD. Next is the Simon's reagent test. Preparation of reagent. For solution A, we'll take 20% of sodium carbonate. Solution B, 50% ethanolic acetaldehyde solution. Solution C, 1% aqueous sodium nitroprusside solution. Procedure, appropriate amount of sample is taken on a spot plate. Next step will be a drop of solution A is added followed by one drop solution B. Further, few drops of solution C is added. Result, appearance of blue color indicates a positive test for the presence of methamphetamine while appearance of slow pink to cherry red color indicates the presence of amphetamine. Next comes the Leberman's test. Preparation of reagent. 5 gram of sodium nitrite is added in 50 ml of sulfuric acid. Procedure to the sample reagent is added drop wise. Result red orange color indicates the presence of amphetamines. Mandolin's reagent test. Preparation of reagent. 1 gram ammonium vanadate is dissolved in 100 ml concentrated sulfuric acid. Procedure. Appropriate amount of aqueous solution is taken and few drops of mandolin's reagent is added. Result. Appearance of green color darkens rapidly indicates the positive test for the presence of amphetamines on stirring the color passes through several shades to emerald green and dark reddish brown which changes to light red brown on heating. Next comes the cobalt nitrate test. Preparation of reagent 1% cobalt nitrate solution. Procedure similarly as we have performed in the mandolin's test and in this the result will be pink to violet color as indicative of the GHB or the gamma hydroxy butyrate. Next is the Ehrlich reagent test. Preparation of reagent 1 gram of para dimethylamine benzaldehyde is dissolved in 10 ml methanol and 10 ml concentrated orthophosphoric acid is added further. Procedure Take appropriate amount of the sample or few drops of methanol extract of the sample in a depression spot plate and add two drops of Ehrlich reagent. Appearance of a blue to purple color indicates the presence of LSD or lysergic acid diethylamide. Next is the Fraud's reagent test. Preparation of reagent. 50 mg of molybdic acid or sodium molybdate is dissolved in 10 ml of hot concentrated sulfuric acid. The resulting solution should be colorless. Procedure. Take appropriate amount of the sample or few drops of Fraud's reagent. Olive green color changes to blue which changes to green indicating the presence of LSD. And lastly, mixed reagent test. Preparation of reagent, 0.25 grams of selenius acid is dissolved in 25 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid. Procedure, 
take appropriate amount of the sample or few drops of mixed reagent. Orange color indicating the presence of mescaline and green color changing to blue purple indicates the presence of MDA. Now we will summarize all that we have studied in this module. Drug facilitated sexual assault or DFSA also called as date rape is defined as the voluntary or involuntary ingestion of a drug by a victim that results in an act of sexual activity without consent. Drug facilitated sexual assault or the use of so called date rape drugs is a crime in which the executor secretly administers drugs usually through alcoholic drinks to the victim prior to a sexual assault. The drugs work in a way that renders the victim physically helpless and unable to remember what has happened. There are three well-known date rape drugs that is GHB or gamma hydroxybutyrate, rohypnol or flunaretrazepam and ketamine or ketamine hydrochloride. Flunotrazepam, rohypnol or rufies has become popular as a drug of abuse often combined with alcohol, marijuana or cocaine to produce an intense high. It has been used as a date rape drug both for its properties of lowering inhibitions and because it can cause retrograde amnesia. Apart from being misused as a date rape drug, ketamine is an anesthetic for human and for animals and GHB is also used to treat sleep problems. For the ideal analysis of the date rape drugs, the main responsibilities to be deliberated are the determination of the presence of a controlled substance, determination of the amount of the substance and determination of the relationship of the drug samples to each other through comparison or profiling. A number of methods has been developed to determine these drugs, most focusing on the application of gas chromatography, mass spectrometry or GCMS, liquid chromatography or mass spectrometry, LCMS, capillary electrophoresis, mass spectrometry that is CEMS or for their determination in serum or biologically related samples. Thank you.